Hello to my cancers. Welcome to your reading for the month of August. So we start the month off with the, the nine of cups. So this month, it just seems like there's going to be a lot of self-indulging, trying to distract yourself from situations, feelings, emotions. Um, for cancers this month, um, if you're trying to escape your emotions by distracting yourself, it's not going to work this month, cancer. Um, whether it's a relationship, whether it's drugs, alcohol, even if it's food and trying to cut yourself off from the world, that is not going to work this month. There's a strong energy of Mars meeting Uranus, meeting the true node, and you need to break that habit. This is a strong month for breaking habits that keep you stuck in positions that you're not happy with. There will be a full moon in the sign of Aquarius on the 11th of this month and Aquarius rules your eighth house of other people's resources. So some of you cancers may be looking at situations with money, situations with intimacy, love, sexuality, sharing with another person. Um, all of these things are going to come to the forefront with the full moon in Aquarius where I got the moon reverse card and la lune, I would say reverse shout out to this artist that designed these cards. Um, Joe off duty. Thank you, girl. So the moon, la Lun reverse in this reading really shows me that you are basically coming out of a, of a state where you were not using your instincts. You were just kind of going with the flow of what was happening because you had to, um, because of life, um, because of circumstances, situations, people, places, or things, you kind of cut yourself off from your emotion, your instinctual self and the fact that I'm doing a reading for cancer and I got the moon card tells me that this is a strong, strong indication here that you need to come back to your senses, your state of being, all of that stuff. This is the month for that. You're going to finally start to see all these things that started to play that played out in the past as being kind of just unconscious emotions or energies that needed a release. Um, and you could have been playing out something unconsciously and you didn't even know it. Um, so this is the reason why the first card, you could just want to crawl into bed and not really be around anyone, right? So this is kind of the vibe that I'm seeing for the month. Um, and as the month progresses, um, there will be a new moon in in your third house of communication, okay? And how you think and how you feel. And I got the three of wands telling you that it ain't over yet. Things it seems like it's bad. It may seem like things are never going to change, but life is still open. Life is still ready for you. It's you that has to take the initiative to actually build or uh, work or attract the kind of lifestyle that you want. It also states that you don't need to rush. There is no rush for whatever it is that you're trying to do. I know that you are a lunar energy, you're ruled by the moon, and the moon is the fastest moving planet that we have in this solar system that operates around the earth. So when you're looking at everything, it's hard for you sometimes to take in everything all at once. You need time alone, you need time to recuperate and regenerate, and that's okay. You don't need to rush it. But you do have to come out of the state where you're thinking negatively or you're thinking that you've missed a, missed a buck or you've missed a ship and nothing's going to happen for you anymore in these departments. Because it's the eighth house of marriage, I can say that some of you may be also going through things with a per partner. Um, it just seems like for the past three years, you guys have been dealing with a lot of un unconscious things, you know, because your eighth house is Aquarius and cancers like to hide their emotions through friends, through family, through food and all this other stuff. So this month is going to be a better month for you to be more clear on, okay, I didn't miss anything. I was just indulging. I was just self-indulging. This is what I see for cancer. So for this month, you're definitely going to have an opportunity to see things differently than you did before. And what you do about that is up to you, but you don't need to stay home and eat ice cream all the time. If you want to do that, that's fine, but things won't change just because you're trying to avoid your emotions. Okay, Cancer. So this month, I'm definitely seeing that. Um, if you like the reading and you'd like to book a reading with me personally, where I can look at your actual chart with some cards. You can email me at akilaastrology at gmail.com, Cancer, and I'll see you guys in the next reading. Enjoy your month. And remember, your ship has not sailed. You got this. Continue 
to to just live life and try to be happy and do things that you enjoy. It will help you a lot. Trust me when I say this. Okay, guys, see you next reading. Bye-bye.